I am super excited because today we are going to be solving a problem that has been bugging me for years. And we're going to develop a new product along the way to solve this problem. As a videographer who is constantly on the go, I often have to pull my laptop out and get work done to hit my deadlines. This means working from coffee shops, on sets, in vehicles, and even just on the couch at home. And I always get annoyed by my SSD dangling unsafely beside my laptop. I'm constantly worried that it's going to get disconnected and corrupt the files that I'm working on. Today, I'm gonna to create a solution to this unsafe dangling SSD problem. I've seen a cool solution online for the old Samsung T5s because they're wide and flat. You can just place a magnet ring on it with a little sticker, and then you can attach this to the back of your phone or to the back of your laptop. However, my drives are the Crucials and they are rounded and thinner, so the sticker doesn't stick. So we're gonna have to find a different solution. However, I really like the idea of using magnets. Real quick interruption to the program. This project is about SSDs only, not HDDs, hard drives. If there's any moving parts, it can get wrecked by a magnet. SSDs, no moving parts, can't get wrecked by a magnet. Okay, that's very important. If you have a hard drive, do not use magnets. Okay, back to our regular program. So we're gonna start by developing a holder for the SSD, and then we'll tackle an elegant solution to attaching those magnets to the MacBook. So let's get to work and start designing our first prototype. The process of designing new products can be a bit daunting, but the most important thing is to start simple. Just one sketch at a time, one extrusion, build on top of it piece by piece. Then send it to the printer to see your creation come to life. So that you can figure out all of the things that are completely wrong with it. And repeat the process all over again. Learning from your mistakes, making small changes in order to get things to fit just right this time and then bring in your creation to life again. Just to find out that it doesn't really work. So you redesign it from the ground up. This time, being a little bit more specific about how you do things. And then you send it back to the printer and you learn from your mistakes. Over and over again until you are able to make something that actually works. Creating something out of an idea. After iterating a few more times, just to make the fit nice and snug, I'm pretty happy with this prototype. So now it's time to test it in the real world environments that it was designed for. That is nice. Whew. So satisfying. With most products that involve solving a problem that I personally have, but I am interested in making an actual product out of, I always hit this stage of resistance. I call it the good enough stage. It's that point where technically the project is complete. My problem is solved and it works. Does it work well? Does it look good? The answer to that with these kind of projects is usually no. Take my latest prototype as an example. I showed it to a few friends feeling pretty good about it and they quickly pointed out something I hadn't even considered. The sheer variety of SSD shapes and sizes out there. Suddenly I realized that what might work well for my setup won't work well for most people. So if I want to turn this into a product that I can actually sell, that means I have to solve this problem. So back to the drawing board. And by that, I mean Fusion 360. This process can be frustrating, but it's also where the magic happens. I need to figure out a solution that works for all different brands, sizes, and varieties of SSDs. I'm definitely still gonna stick with the magnets, and I'm thinking about making a design where I can attach the SSDs with these Velcro cable tie straps. You know, these things. Pushing past good enough is how you get to something great. It's how you go from solving your own problem to creating something that can solve it for thousands of others. 
And that's why I keep going. Even when it's hard, even when resistance is screaming, just stop here. But right away when I was testing it, no matter how hard and tight you attach these Velcro straps to your SSD, it just slides right off. Like no matter what, it's just, you can't get it tight enough because the inside of Velcro is not grippy. It's really soft and smooth. So unfortunately, I think these cable Velcro ties, they're gonna be out. But I think I do know the tool for this job. LiPo straps. They're designed to attach batteries to drones like this one, which can go over 200 kilometers per hour. So these things are grippy and designed to hold on to this battery no matter what. My next design is going to basically be putting these three, four things together. However, the thing about resistance and getting over that just stop here voice is that it usually only takes a small step or a little idea like lipo straps to get moving again. But then right after that, it takes a giant leap. For this project, that means sourcing brand new straps because after trying out all the ones that I have and all the ones at SN Hobbies and doing some measurements of what I actually need, I realized that none of them quite fit right. So I have to go custom which brought me to a website called Alibaba. It's funny because a lot of the straps that my local FPV shops use are on here, and it even shows examples of their branding. So I know I'm in the right place. After a ton of messages, measurements, planning, and trying to figure this thing out, I put in a custom order for the minimum order quantity, 400 of these LiPo straps. I decided to go with two different sizes, so 200 of each. That way you can fit two or even three SSDs stacked on top or just one small one. So that should solve those problems. I also put in an order for over 100 magnets and metal rings and then I had to wait for well over a month. So now that the LiPo straps have finally arrived, I'm ready to update you guys on my progress. I've been working on different designs over the past couple months. I started out trying to make the strap and the whole thing out of TPU. Another one. And this one was getting close, but the TPU wasn't stiff enough so the magnet could just bend and snap. So that was no good. And then I moved on to using the straps properly. And we got a first prototype here. And then once I received the straps, I refined it a little bit to fit better. And we have a first actual prototype made out of PETG carbon fiber, a little bit stronger and a little bit stiffer. So out with the old, in with the new. It's simple, sleek, elegant, light and strong and it will work with every type of ssd i've tried and likely any normal sized ssd and then with the other strap you can fit two or three on top of each other the major breakthrough that i had in these newer versions was transitioning away from having an additional part that kind of clicks in creating one final product i started to print up until the height of the top of the magnet and then I just dropped the magnet into the 3D printer, which magnetized to the bed, and then printed right on top, creating one super solid piece without two parts. It can't break. Much, much better design. Thankfully, Bamboo came out with TPU for the AMS, and I've been testing out some TPU base layers and top layers so that it's softer to the touch, softer to the products it's being used with, um, but it still has the strength and rigidity of um, PETG as the inter intermediary. Do you guys remember at the start of this video when I said we'd figure out a good way to attach our SSDs to our laptops? Well, so far in this video, I've just been using these simple metal rings. These little metal rings are metallic and they're made to be attached to the back of a cell phone so you can connect them to MagSafe things. But I'm really excited because today these came in the mail and this is a small sticker that is metallic and 
It can be customized from anything from a logo to a picture to your company's name or a meaningful phrase for you. I've been making videos for a long time, not always here on YouTube, but for clients and for social media for well over 10 years. So I've gone through quite a few phases and had quite a few different mentalities towards creating content. I've come head to head with burnout too many times to count. I've been frustrated, angry, depressed, unmotivated, difficult to work with, and lost my purpose when it comes to making videos, professionally or personally. That's why when I saw season two, episode seven of The Bear, titled Forks, it hit so deep. I really felt Richie's transformation from feeling that lack of purpose to finding the value in serving others with my gift. For those of you who haven't seen it, it's a very special episode of TV where one of the main characters, Richie, who up until this moment is difficult and miserable most of the time, spends a week at a Michelin star restaurant and has a transformative experience finding his purpose in serving others. At this restaurant, there is this really important saying with so much history behind it, every second counts, which at first makes Richie feel like he is wasting time. It guilts him makes him feel like he isn't doing good enough. But by the end of the episode, it shifts, and he sees it as an opportunity to make sure that each second counts for the people he is serving. It becomes an act of service, his purpose. In my own work, I have also gone through a much less cinematic transformation. However, in my story, it was not cleaning forks that gave me perspective. I found my purpose making sure that every frame looks perfect for my clients. For me, there are 24 frames to a second. So when I was faced with a blank metallic canvas, the answer to what I wanted on the back of my laptop was obvious. But for those of you who are actually gonna buy one of these, you can customize this to say or show whatever you want. I'm getting them laser engraved locally here in New Westminster and maybe they can match the stickers that you already have on your laptop. As for the other great customization idea, because this is my YouTube editing SSD, I thought I'd make one look like the YouTube play button, but unfortunately, YouTube's brand team said no to this, so I cannot sell it to you, but I will make a red one that's circular. So for me, that's how I can distinguish the client's SSD and the YouTube SSD. This video is actually coming out like a week and a half later than I originally wanted because I spent like a week calibrating every filament to make it perfect. But now that it's looking really good, I'm getting some quick photos for the listing so that we can finish this process up. Thank you guys so much for following along in this journey. It's been quite the process, but I'm really happy with these SSD holders. If you want to, you can find them on Etsy or Shopify to purchase them and I'll get them shipped out as fast as I can. And I am probably going to tinker with the designs a little bit just to make sure that they're perfect. But for now, this is what they will look like. Yeah, thanks so much for your time and I'll see you guys on the next one.